guys welcome back to my channel in this video i show you how i created this makeup look and it was inspired by by brooke l on instagram which i'll insert her photo here she is literally one of my favorite makeup artists on instagram and she's also from australia which is great because if you didn't already know i'm australian as well and there's actually not a lot of australian beauty makeup artists and things like that that i actually follow so she is incredible and I think all her makeup looks are amazing and she really inspired me to create this look. I've never done anything like this, nothing as colourful and dramatic as this and I'm really happy with how this look turned out and I really hope you guys like it as well. And I did actually use the new Beauty Bay Bright Matte 42 colour palette and look at the shades in here, like it's amazing. And um, you can also recreate this look using the James Charles palette if you liked. But yeah, I really wanted to use this because I've only used it once before. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this look in the video. And if you do like it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and all my other socials that was listed down below in the description box and right at the end of the video. So with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so as always, as you can see, I've already done my brows and prepped my eyes. I just prepped my eyes using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 0.5 and I just put that onto my lids. And I don't set this primer because it basically sets as you like pat it. So yeah, let's look into this look. Um, I will be using the Beauty Bay EYN Bright Matte Palette. And I was tossing and turning between using this palette or the Morphe Exchange Charles one. But I wanted to use this one because this look is inspired by, by Brookell on Instagram. And oh, if you don't follow her, her looks are literally so incredible. She is so talented. So definitely check her out if you haven't already, but I'm sure you guys have all seen her because she's amazing. She actually used Beauty Bay palette for that look and she used, I think, a smaller palette than this one because they do make like smaller 16 shade, I think, palettes or something. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But um, this palette does have some of the shades that she used for her look except for one of them, which... That's okay because we can just improvise. So yeah, let's just dig straight in to this look. I'm so freaking excited. It looks like a bomb eyeshadow look. So let's get started. So sometimes my base will just crease a little bit by the time I start the eyeshadow. So I'll just tap it out. And as you can see, it just blends out. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to be going in with is the shade she used which is this deep purple over here and it's just called Drama Queen. And I'm just going to be going in with this Morphe M456 brush. This is from the James Charles collection. And also if you do want to recreate this look, you can definitely use the Morphe James Charles palette because these shades are pretty much in that palette anyway that I'm going to be using today. But um, yeah, I just wanted to use this palette because I know Brooke used this palette. So yeah, let's get started. So what I'm going to be doing is just dabbing this into my crease and on the outer corners of my eyes and just like a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes as well because it kind of looks like she had a little bit of a halo eye going on but it wasn't like too intense of a halo if that makes sense like she's just got a touch of purple in her inner corner. And I'm just going to bring it out a little bit because I do want it to be super smoky. Just going to diffuse the edges just a touch. These shadows seriously blend so easy. I'm so impressed with them. Okay, now I'm just going in with this diffuse brush. This is the Zoeva 224 brush. And I'm just going to diffuse the edges of the purple a little bit. Just so it's not too harsh before I go in and further blend it out with the other colors just to have a nice soft blend for the moment. So I'm gonna be going in with this Morphe M433 brush and then going in with the blue shade which she used which is this one here called Pacific Dreams and I always dab some of the shadow on the back of my hand so I don't go too intensely on the eyes and I always just tap off the excess as well. Oh wow, I just got black eyeshadow on my face. And then I'm just going to sort of buff it into the inner corner of my eye and try and like blend it in with that purple. I don't know if I'm using the right brush for this, you know what, I don't think I am. Let's change that. I'm going to go back in with that diffused brush I used before. I 
As you can see, these shadows are so pigmented and I tapped it off quite a bit before. I definitely did it better on this eye because I feel like I went too far out with the blue on this eye. That's all right, we'll fix it in a sec. I've never done such a colorful eyeshadow look like this, so please bear with me. Hopefully it'll turn out really good. And I have used this palette once before and I'm so impressed with it, it's so pigmented. All right, now I'm gonna be using the exact same brush, but going back in with that purple Drama Queen shade. And I'm just gonna apply that next to the blue. And just look at that blend between the blue and the purple. And don't worry, we will deepen up the crease again because I know it's faded a little bit, but we'll bring back a bit of the darkness just after we've applied all the colored shadows because we're still going to continue losing the purple. So I don't want to reapply it yet. I'll wait till I've applied all the other colors and then I'll reapply the purple in the crease to deepen it up again if that makes sense. But you'll see what I'm doing anyway if it didn't make sense to you. Because I can be so bad at explaining things sometimes, so I'm sorry about that. So now with this bright pink shade here called Make Them Wink, I'm going in with this Morphe E27 brush. And I'm just going to be applying it the same way I've been applying the blue and the purple shadow. And I'll just be applying it right next to the purple shadow I just applied. And I'm just building up that pink because I want it to be super bright. But because it is mixing with the purple, it is getting a little bit dark. And I'm going back in with the Zoeva brush and the purple shade Drama Queen. And I'm just going to reapply it where I applied it here in between the blue and the pink. Just to bring it back a little because it disappeared a bit when I applied the pink shade. And now I'm going in with this more pointy crease brush. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH34 brush. And I'm just going to be going in with this bright red shade here called Hot Stuff. And then I'm just going to apply it more into my crease here on the outer corners. And also just like on the outer corner of my eye as well. Um, but I'm not going to be blending it out too much. And don't worry about this mess that we're getting under here. We'll be cleaning it up in a sec anyway. And now just with this Sigma E38 brush, I'm going to be going in with the bright orange shade. Where is it? Here it is. Called Heat Wave. And I'm just going to be smoking out that red shade and just really smoking out the entire eyeshadow look in general. So what I'm going to be doing is just like bring it out past my brow and on the outer corner of my eye as well. I was wanting to do my foundation first so I could really smoke this out but I wasn't sure how much fallout I would get with these shadows because this is my second time using this palette and I haven't used these shadows yet except for the blue and I didn't want to make a mess so that's why I'm doing my eyeshadow first. I usually do my eyeshadow first anyway but when I really want these like full on smoky eye looks I do prefer to do my foundation first. I'm gonna smoke it out anyway after I've applied the foundation. This is just creating a base for the smokiness, if you know what I'm saying. And just look at the blend between the shadows and I haven't even like gone back and forth yet. I'm really impressed. Okay, now I'm going back in with the Morphe M456 brush and the purple shade Drama Queen. And I'm going to reapply it into my crease to bring back the darkness. And I'm just going to be blending it into where I applied it earlier. And see the difference that just made, just reapplying that purple shadow. Now I'm just going to be going back in with the brushes and the shades I used for the colours above that purple to just bring back the colours a little bit. So you can just basically go back and forth until you get the blend and the pigment that you desire. So I'm just going back in with the purple first here. Now I'm going back in with the blue Pacific Dreams. 
now going back in with the pink make them wink that kind of rhymed honestly i love this pink shadow I'm not going to be going back into the red because I feel like I have enough of it. I want to bring in more of the orange. So I'm going back in with that orange heat wave shade. But again, not focusing too much with this orange because I will pretty much be reapplying it anyway after I've done my foundation. So now I've gotten some of my P. Louise base and I've just applied some of it to the back of my hand. This is in the shade 0 0.5. And I've just gotten here my Morphe M224 brush. And I'm just going to pretty much pretty sloppily apply this to the center of my lids. I'm not doing like a cut crease or anything. It's just going to make sure that the shimmer shade we apply will just stand out a little bit more. So I'm not going to be too like precise with it. And I probably won't apply too much of it either. And pretty much just apply it to the center of my lid. And I think I already effed it up. I think I brought it up too high. Ah, shizen. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to apply the conceal to this side. I just applied like a tad. But um, because I don't want to stuff it up like I did on this side. Um, hopefully you can't, you, know, you can't really tell too much. I pretty much fixed it. Um, but I don't want to make that mistake again. So I'm just reapplying a bit of the purple to cover up the concealer. Okay, you can't really tell that I stuffed it up. But I feel like I need to make this side a bit darker now as well to even it out. Just a teeny weeny bit. Okay, so now with this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush, I would prefer to use a flat shader brush, um, but mine needs to get clean. So this is the only other kind of flat shader brush that I've got. So yeah, I'm just going to be spraying it with my MAC Fix Plus because I'm going to be applying shimmer to the lids and I want it to be super like as metallic as it can be. So I'm just going to be going in with the Anastasia Belly Hills Soft Glam Palette and picking up this gold shade over here called Bronze. And I'm just going to be like patting that to the center of my lids. And I'm even going to be bringing it into the crease. And seriously, a little bit of this shadow goes such a long way. I've only picked it up all once and look how much of my eye it's covered. Such a beautiful gold shade. Alright, now I'm going back in with the Morphe M456 brush that I've been using to apply the purple. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of the gold just so we can blend in with the purple and there's no harsh lines because we don't want no harsh lines. And just look at that once I close my eyes. How bomb does that look? Seriously, Brooke is such a talented makeup artist. Like, she's incredible. And this one in particular, just I had to recreate. It was something super different to what I've seen before. And I am actually going in with a bit of the purple. Just a touch. Okay, so now I just quickly went in with a touch of those colors just once again to bring them back because I did go in with the purple again in the crease to blend out the gold. Just a second ago, as you guys saw, so yeah, I just wanted to bring back those colors just a little bit. We're pretty much done for now. I'm just going to grab a makeup wipe and just clean up underneath my eyes and just the edge as well. But we'll leave like a little bit of the shadow just so when we connect it to the lower lash line, it all blends in super nicely. So I'm not going to go super right to the edge of my eye. I will just like go a bit lower if that makes sense. Just like that, as you can see, I've still got some feather down. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I'm just going to quickly do most of my face makeup off camera just because I do want this video to be focusing on the eyeshadow and so far i'm so happy with how this look is looking i've never done anything like this so yeah, i'll be back in a little bit to finish off with the eyes and do the blush highlight and lips and all that jazz okay so now i am back and i've done my foundation concealer face powder contour and bronzer and if you want to know what products i used for that just check out my instagram and i will post a photo of this look with all the details of the products i used so definitely check that out if you want to know the products I just used but now I'm going to be doing my highlights so I'm going to be going in with this Morphe X Jack on Hill JH09 brush and just spray it with my MAC Fix Plus you guys I'm almost out I think this is like my third or fourth bottle I've honestly lost count so I'm just going to spray the brush of course tap off any 
excess because you don't want it to be too wet. And I also just like to dab it on the back of my hand just so it's not too wet and doesn't make the highlight look streaky on the face. And for highlight, I'm just going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills by Amrezi Highlight. You guys, this highlight is beautiful. And I feel like it will look really good with the gold on the lids. And also onto the chin. Just pretty much everywhere, honestly. And then just with my ring finger, I'm going to apply it to my nose and keep it bow. And now moving on to blush, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Peachy Love Blush Trim. Picking up this one on the end called Nectarine. And I'm just going to be applying it with this Angled Blush Brush by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. It is a JHA6 brush and if you guys watch my videos, you guys know I love this brush and this blush as well. So honestly, so pigmented. Like a little bit goes such a long way. Like look, at, look at the difference already. Just by touch and applying it to the apples as well. What I'm going to do is just grab my powder brush and just go over this side so it's not too intense. And then we pretty much have the face. And now I'm going to zoom you guys back into the eyes to finish them up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go in with this smudger brush. This is from the Fenty Beauty Galaxy Collection. And again, going back into the Beauty Bay palette. And then I'm going to pick up that dark purple shade again called Drama Queen. And I'm just going to smudge that along the outer lower lash line. And I'm also going to try and connect it to the rest of the eyeshadow. And I'm only going to bring it in a little bit to the front. Not too much though, because I want to apply the blue to the front. Before I continue with the lower lash line, I'm just going to go back in with the M456 Morphe brush and pick up the tiniest bit of Drama Queen. I'm just going to try and bring it out a little bit to elongate the shadow. Just a little bit. Now I'm going back in with the Sigma E38 brush and I'm just picking up the shade Heat Wave right here in the middle and I'm just going to smoke out the ends of my eyeshadow. And I'm also going to bring it down on my lower lash line as well. I just want it to be super smoky. I'm actually just going to switch over to this Morphe E23 brush. And I'm just going to try and blend it out. Just so it's super smoked out. And I'm just going to pick up a little, little bit of heat wave right now. This side is definitely more diffused and smoky than this side for some reason, but that works well for me anyway because this is my good side. So I'm just going to roll with it. I'm just going to bring the purple down just a little bit more on my lower lash line. Just to make it more smoked out. So now I'm going to be going in with this Dose of Colors brush and using this side here and picking up the orange heat wave shade. And what I'm going to be doing is just tilting it to the side like this. And I'm going to be smoking out my little lash line. So I'm going to use the brush this way rather than that way. If you know what I'm saying? So it's just going to make it a bit more smoked out. I'm just doing this mainly on the outer half of my little lash line. And just connect it to the rest of the eyeshadow. I don't know why with this eye especially, but even on both eyes, it always just bunches up here to the pigment for some reason. I don't know why, but it gets pretty annoying sometimes. And now I'm just going to grab this tapered brush that I use when like setting my under eyes and I'm just going to buff out the edge so it's not too harsh. And I'm actually just going to go in with just a clean brush. This has like no eyeshadow on it. I'm just going to blend out that little bunch of eyeshadow that's there. Hopefully it will blend out. And I'm going in with this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH43 Smudger Brush. And I'll be picking up the blue shade Pacific Dreams. And I'm just going to stamp that into the inner half of my lower lash line. And I'm just going to try and connect it with the purple just by smudging it in.
And now I'm going back in with the Fenty Beauty brush, but I'm going to be picking up this bigger, more fluffy side here. This is the side I used before, but I'm using this side now. I'm going back in with this shade Pacific Dreams, but I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Paradise here, just so um, I can smoke out that inner lower lash line. Okay, I think this is a wrong brush to use. Let's just take a step back. Now I'm just going in with this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH38 brush and I'm just going to be using that blue shade Pacific Dreams just to smoke out the inner half of my lower lash line and try and connect it with the purple. And I'm going back in with the Dose of Colors brush and a little bit of the orange heatwave shade just to connect it to the blue. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it for the lower lash line. I'm just going to go back in with this brush just to clean up the edge. And just like feel free to retouch whatever you feel like needs retouching. Just a bit more of that pink. Just to really brighten it up again. I love this pink, honestly. So now I'm just going to do my inner corner highlight. And for that I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit. I'm picking up this shade here called Blue Ice and I've just sprayed this little detail shader brush with a bit of MAC Fix Plus and I'm just going to dab it onto the inner corners of my eyes. And she has like such a bomb blue inner corner highlight so I'm just going to try and replicate that. And now still with this little brush, I am going in with my Amrezi highlight that I used on my face and I'm just going to pick up the tiniest, tiniest bit to highlight my brow bone but I don't want the brow bone highlight to be too intense so I'm picking up just a tiny bit and just applying it here to the arch of my brow. Okay, I'm just picking up this random clean brush I have here just to blend out that harsh line from the brow bone highlights. So now I'm just going to quickly do my lashes off camera. So I'm going to apply my Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara to my top lashes and then I'm going to be going in with my Lily lashes in the style Miami. These are my absolute favorites and then I'm just going to apply this L'Oreal mascara to my bottom lashes because this one doesn't smudge under your eyes which is amazing. Okay so I've applied my falsies but I haven't done my lower lash mascara yet because I just realized I forgot to set my face so I'm just going to go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm just going to set my face while covering the eyes with this palette. Usually I set my face before I do my lashes but I forgot. Before I do my lips I'm just going to apply the mascara to my lower lashes. Okay so now it's time for the lips so I'm going to go in with my Kali Cosmetics Bare Lip Liner just line my lips first and I just always overline my lips as well. Okay, now I'm just going in with the liquid lipstick in the shade Bare and just popping it onto my lips. And I'm just going to go back in with the liner just to apply to the perimeter of my lips. And to just blend it in with the liquid lipstick. And if you need to, a lot of the time I just like to um, clean up the edge of my lips with my concealer brush. And I don't um, pick up any concealer, I just use whatever's left over on the brush. Because I always use this one to carve out my brows. Okay, so now I don't know if I want to keep the lips like this or apply just a little metallic lipstick on top, just like a little topper. Here I've just got the Kylie Cosmetics Metallic Lipstick from the holiday collection. It's in the shade Snow Q and I just don't know if I should just dab some and then pop it on the lips. I feel like this is going to be too pink so I probably won't do this one. But I also have the shade here called as Ice and I think I want to try this one. I just dab some on my finger before. I think I just want to pop it onto my lips just to see what it will look like. I mean I can always take it off so just see how we go. I'm only going to do a little bit to the center of my lips. I think it might be too much going on. I mean, the lips look dope, don't get me wrong. But I think it's just too much going on with the eyes because I have a lot going on in the eyes in general. Yeah, I think I'm going to take it off and then I'll just change my lips 
to how they were just matte before. Okay, so this is the final look and I really hope you guys like it and learned something from this video. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And personally, I'm actually pretty damn happy with how this look turned out. I've never done anything so dramatic and colourful as this. And I just want to thank Brooke for like giving me major inspo for this look because I'm really happy with how this look turned out. I probably could have just not gone so much in here with the blue if that makes sense but i mean other than that i'm really really happy with how this look turned out again i've never done anything like this so i'm proud of myself and if you guys recreate this look be sure to tag me because i'd love it to see and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you follow me on instagram and all my other socials they're always listed down below and right at the end of the video so yeah thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next one